Hello, this second portion of the control screens for InnoBox systems will show more advanced parameter screens for function adjustments. These are password protected. To access this section, you will need to press the two side buttons simultaneously. This will bring up the password enter screen. The default password is 0000. You will enter the four digit code by using the plus and minus buttons across the bottom and up the right side, corresponding to digits 0 through 9. Once entered, a blue check mark will appear on the left. Press the button to accept the password. The maintenance interval screen number one for pump and gun parts will then appear. Near the top portion of the screen shows the display screen hours of operation and below is how long high voltage has been applied from this unit. To the right is the corresponding page of the maintenance section. The lower section has the live operational time and maintenance threshold settings. The first is pump injector. It shows the current operational time in green and below is the threshold set time in hours. Use the plus and minus buttons to adjust. Next are for the powder venturi, gun electrode, and nozzle deflector. All following the same setting procedure. If any of these maintenance levels are reached, screen number 5 will appear, showing a symbol of a bell at the top right. The level that has been reached will show under the specific symbol in red. To return to the operational screen, press the home button. To advance to the fault history screen, page number two, press the plus button on the right side. You will see how many faults have occurred in the five most recent. To the right is the corresponding fault code. These codes are identified in the instructional manual, along with possible causes and remedies. To advance to the next five faults, press the plus button. Press the minus button to return to the previous five faults. To return to the operational screen, press the home button. Press minus on the right to return to the previous page and press plus to advance to the next page, number three. Page number three is the active cleaning cycle parameter. The first item is for the active slash turned on phase of the cycle. The middle section is the setting of the inactive or stop time of the cycle. Using the plus and minus buttons below each symbol to increase or decrease the time. And these are displayed in seconds. The third symbol is to set how many cleaning cycles you prefer. Also use plus and minus to increase or decrease. Using the same steps as before to advance or return to previous screens. Page number four is the locking and unlocking for gun and pump functions. The first area is the voltage adjustment. Press the plus to lock out the ability to change the voltage without a password and the minus to allow the ability to change. The second symbol is for current maximum set point. The third is for pneumatic settings for the pump and gun. The last symbol is to allow activation of the box feed vibration from the display or 
only when the gun is triggered. Use plus for on and minus for off. Use the same steps as before to advance or return to previous screens. Page 5 is the parameter screen for setting time delays with various functions. The first section in the lower left is for setting the time for the shutoff delay of the electrode blow-off feature after triggering. Second is the setting of the fluidization shutoff. Third is the box vibration. Both are shutoff time after the gun is detriggered. The last icon showing a screen is for setting the time before the InnoBox will go into a black screen standby mode. Again, using the plus and minus buttons below each symbol to increase or decrease the time. Use the same steps as before to advance or return to previous screens. Page number six is the PLC communication screen. First is the contrast setting. Using plus and minus to adjust, in percentage, the darkness of the screen. Next is the thumb control keypad on the back of the InnoGun. Use the minus to set the keypad for maximum current settings and use the plus for the keypad to select different programs entered. The next two functions are for PLC and robotic communication. By selecting the slave number or the communication speed if using a CAN mode. Using the plus and minus buttons below each symbol to increase or decrease the time. There is more in-depth information in the InnoBox manual regarding these settings. Using the same steps as before to advance or return to previous screens. Page number 7 is the password code modification screen. If you wish to change the password to allow the setting of advanced parameters, you will enter the new four-digit code under the old by using the plus and minus buttons across the bottom and up the right side, corresponding to digits 0 through 9. After entering the new code, a blue check mark will appear. Click the button to validate the new password and override the previous one. To return to any of the previous screens, continue to select the layered page buttons until you reach the screen desired. This concludes the advanced parameter screen setup and functionality for the InnoBox VT and Hopper Cart systems. Thanks for viewing. Remember, with Samez, we can enjoy being the best together.